Van Otogar. Finally, at 6 p.m., the bus just arrived at Van Otogari. It took three hours to get to here from Dobazazit. Now I need to find my hotel that I already booked, Buyuk Arartu Hotel. The problem is I have no idea how far because maps me even didn't recognize the hotel. So I come to this place because I need Wi-Fi to get the address of the hotel. This place is really nice. It's very close to the Autogar. It's really nice. The tea day is so good and I just connect to the internet and I already checked the hotel. It's about 2.5 kilometers from here. I don't know if there is any minibus to go there but walk is also okay. It's only like 30 minute walk. With only 5 lira for the tea, I got the Wi-Fi. Now I'm heading to the hotel. Walking is no problem for me because I like. Sometimes we also need to save time if too far then it's not also a vision fun it's much bigger than who does it smaller city it's also airport in here I already walk half the way I have a heavy backpack and also my luggage is also heavy the mosque looks so beautiful. Straight on still, then turn left. This is very amazing mosque. So that is Yuk Arartu Hotel. Finally, after 2.5 kilometers walking with my heavy backpack, with my heavy luggage, I managed to find my hotel. Hello, I have reservation. The hotel is really amazing. It's really nice. Big bath. It's really cheap. I paid for tonight is 450 lira. It's 271 per night. So in Istanbul, it's really impossible to get private room with that price, with this really luxury. Chair, you can sit down in here if you want to work with the laptop. And also there is a mirror to television. And there is a little fridge to water in there. There's a place to place your light yet, your shoes. And there is a big cupboard to hang in. The bathroom is also nice. They provide shampoo, shower gel like usually. This is most important. Hair dryer. And there is also mirror over there. Bread. This is a chicken. This is rice. It should be a potato. But there is no potato. This is a salad. It's free. And this is a durum. I don't know how much it costs. This is tea. Good day from Fan. Uh, today I will go to Agdamar Island. To reach Agdamar Island, first I need to take a bus to Gevas first. From here to Gevas is about 3 kilometers. I can walk, but 30 minutes walk. I want to make it fast. I need a bus to go to Gevas. I don't know where is the bus. I'm on the bus already now, but it's not the bus that's going to Gevas. Actually, I need to take a bus to go to Otogar first. And then from there, there is a mini bus to go to Gevas. Finally, I found a mini bus to go to the Autogar. Just got off from the mini bus. It costs 6 lira to get the Autogar. They didn't stop at the Autogar. I need to walk 500 meters. It's written on the bus, give us. The bus will leave until they get full passengers. Now it's already 12 p.m. It will take some time to get to the give us. It will take also some time to get to Agdemar Island. Finally, after 45 minutes, I'm arrived now at Agdamar Port. This is uh, where the boat to go to the Agdamar Island. And the minibus costs 18 lira. So that's the boat to go to Agdamar Island. The boat already. So that is church. Finally, the boat just arrived. It took about a 40 minute journey. The boat costs 50 lira for a return trip. Make sure that you keep your ticket because you're going to use it when you come back to give us. There is an 
entrance fee for the Damo Church costs 60 lira. And that is the church. Church. The architecture, the design is Armenian style. So this is Armenian church, similar as the church in Ani and also some of the church in Kars. <laughs> From the church, go to the terrace to see another view. One lake, this is the largest lake in Turkey. The water will never vanish. So it says whenever the water of the one lake is finished, then it's a sign that the end of the world. So it makes sense because this is very large. When the water of one lake finishes, then it means the drying season is happening in the entire of the world. <laughs> the boat i'm going to come back to the boat so i have enough exploring the akdamar island it's time for me to go back to the boat we can have time to explore other things in the city back at the Gevas for the minibus to go back to Van. The guy in the restaurant just told me that the minibus will come in about 10 minutes. The only restaurant in Akdamar port. This is the bus to go back to Van. Now the bus is leaving to Van. Just arrived back to Gary. Now I want to go to the castle Van Kalesi. I'm going to find the bus to go to Kalesi. I found the bus, but where is the driver? The bus driver is not coming yet. Already 30 minutes passed, and now it's already Maghrib. So I think I better go back to the hotel. Maybe I will go tomorrow. Still 800 meters more to reach the hotel. I'm so so hungry. Okay, fun. Today uh, I need to check out from the hotel because today I need to go to Trapzon and from Trapzon 
I need to go to Batumi, Georgia. Now I'm heading to the Van Notogar. I will arrive at the bus station and then from there I will go to Van Kalesi. Now I'm walking to the Dolmu station, then from there I will go to Otogar. The market Hazar, main market. So from the hot Dolmu station is about that far. In case I'm for forgive, that is the dorm just in front of the open dorm. So already now I'm on the dorm is going to Otogar. Just arrive at uh, Otogar. And this is the bus company Fan Golu Tourism. I will go there and ask if I can put my jet over there. Put my bag over there. Ah, thank you, so they let me to put my bag in the office. Now I need to find the bus to go to Van Galesi. Maybe over there, plus us. Just like yesterday, the bus uh, was there, but the driver is not there. The other guys just told me that to go to Van Galesi is not from here. I couldn't find the minibus, so at the moment I just walk to that direction. Finally, after one kilometer walk, I found the minibus to go to Van Galesi. And it costs six rupees lira for three kilometers journey. The castle can see from here. This is actually in the bus didn't drop me at the front of the castle or nearby the castle. No, check the map and it was already far from the castle. So in Turkey, even though you go with minibus bus, you still have map with you. When you go with the minibus or bus, always check on the map so you will know when you're going to stop. The driver will not mention castle castle not like that. This is the area of the castle. One got is this the entrance? But the door seems close. Actually, it's point that way. Maybe that's the entrance. Mm. Maybe that gate is open. Let's see. Do I need to jump? Really, it's crazy, right? That's the castle. Should I go straight from here or from here? confusing you know the official entrance is closed the castle is surrounded by the fence unless we could jump I asked the guy just nearby the castle and he showed me this way passing the wheel this is the fence and I couldn't jump either I couldn't get into the fun galaxy I'm a bit disappointed I have come so far to here and it takes a lot of effort and sometimes traveling is not going as we want to we just need to enjoy now it's at 3 my bus to trap zone is uh, at 4 30 better if i just go back to the autogar well, museum you can also go from here this is cemetery that is the van castle how to enter with the with the Wait, maybe we can go from here. I'm already back to the uh, autogar because I have the bus to go to drop zone at 4.30 and now it's already at 4.15. So I need to be quick. I got my bag already. Now we are ready for drop zone. This is the bus to go to trap zone. So my bus will leave soon. I will arrive in trap zone at 4 in the morning. And then after that, at, at 5 a.m. in the morning, I will need to get to another bus to go to Batumi. This is the first break. I think this is the before airport. And now the time is 10.49 p.m. And the break is uh, about 13 p.m.